At whatever point your child joins Punahou, they and your family are welcomed into a caring community that is deeply invested in your child's success. In the fourth grade, our dedicated teachers help our students to become active learners who develop the skills and mindset to advocate for themselves and think deeply about larger and more complex social questions. Students enjoy a wide range of diverse academic experiences that are designed to foster an intrinsic and lifelong love for learning. Fifth grade is about helping students practice, refine, and grow their skills, and is a year where they are encouraged to be more independent in their learning with continued guidance and support from their adults and teachers. Students gain a deeper understanding of their role in the larger group setting and in our community more broadly. This is a time of growing self-awareness and self-identity where students begin to discover their own interests, point of view, and unique place in the world. Our teachers are here to support each child and to lay the academic and social-emotional foundation that will serve them well as they move into middle school. One of the things that's great about fourth grade is that developmentally they're becoming more aware of themselves and what are their needs as learners. And one of the things we really try to foster is that sense of self-advocacy. So our beautiful classrooms allow for a learning space where if they recognize they need to move more or they work better maybe sitting on the ground or standing, that our space allows them to meet that as a learner. And so that they're able to focus and do their best. So one of the things we really want is to give them opportunities to reflect and think, hey, what am I going to do today? And that self-awareness really helps carry them forward and the ability to be a self-advocate and to talk to their teacher and to recognize this is what I need as a learner. And we as educators then help meet them and provide those opportunities and the tools that they need to be successful as students. One of the benefits of the workshop model for students is the amount of choice that they have. So a teacher might give them a mini lesson on a certain skill or strategy, and then kids have this opportunity to build choice. What books are they reading? Who are their favorite authors? What are their favorite genres? And they get to commit to doing these strategies and skills at their level and reading books that, that are a genuine interest to them. So basically the teacher will do a small mini lesson, a 10 minute, mini lesson and then the kids will have that 45 minutes to really really work on whatever it is individually they might be in different books they might be on a different writing assignment and it gives teachers the opportunity to spend that one-on-one -on -one time to confer with students or a small group them and it allows the teacher to have that flexibility to really spend the time with kids and working with kids and that's part of the workshop model that's tremendously important our math program is great because it allows students a variety of strategies. So we introduce different strategies and skills for the concepts that we're trying to teach the students. And what it does is it really personalizes their learning in the sense that they're learning different strategies and then they can pick one that really speaks to them as a learner. I think all students naturally are their inquirers and they love to ask questions, especially around the science and the social studies. And so in fourth grade, what we start to do is introduce the scientific method and process and focus a lot on water, magnetism, and electricity. And so they're learning the properties of water. And as they're learning the properties of water, they're learning about the scientific method. Our science are their collaborative experiences. And so they work together in pairs or small groups to do experiments and kind of go over the results and understand the cause and effect to science. And also, how does it apply to the world? I think what we're really trying to teach them is a growing independence and responsibility and respect and taking their own learning into their own hands and, and building that, that intrinsic motivation to make themselves a better learner and also looking at themselves from a social emotional standpoint and understanding themselves and their emotions and how they behave and how they act as a member of a smaller community and then a larger community are all just basic great life skills that we want each of our students to have moving forward.